All right, we're gonna try this. I've been sitting here for a little bit trying to figure out how to describe this next video. And it's uh, it's epic, as Kevin Talbot would say. Um, we're gonna, I've been commissioned to convert, as the title suggests, that's why you're here, right? Um, this guy, with my X-Max sitting on top of it, just for a little bit of perspective, I get to convert this guy from its 49cc, 6.5 horsepower powertrain to electric. Not any electric, but this electric system. Look at this beast. Max 4. I opened this already. It was already, it was cellophane before I got it. This thing is just enormous. Look at this thing. Let's turn on some lights here. Cooling fins on the underside. We've got our QS8 sent up. This is the radio it comes with stock when you buy a Raminator Grave Digger. That's going to go. We're going to uh, switch it over to our Futaba. The gentleman I'm doing this for is my good buddy, Dennis Martin. Uh, he runs a 7PX2. Look at this. This thing is just ginormous. Oh, look at that motor. Isn't that gorgeous? So, yeah. This will be uh, an epic again, as Mr. Talbot would say. An epic <laughs> episode. Hold on, I'll get you better footage of the, the king of the show here. I had to give my uh, Primal RC hat a wash just for this video. Look at that. It's so hard with these trucks to try to get them, uh, give a size perspective. That's why I thought I'd throw the X-Max on top here. It's friggin' epic. Another Kevin Talbot line, right? Epic. So, I'll unplug the lights. I just had to put the lights on just for, just to show. So the body is held on with 10 body clips, just traditional body clips, which is kind of a bummer, but look at those beef, eh? Axles. Isn't that incredible? The four link and the disc brakes, just like real monster trucks on the, on the pinion. It's built almost the same as my... Uh, LMT. So the body is a little. You gotta pull out. There's two side posts here that get locked in. We gotta go over here. Oh, this thing weighs 90 pounds, by the way. It's not what they advertise on their site. They say it's 80 pounds, but that is a lie. I'm here to tell you. Body gets to live in that box for the next little while. And there it is. Look at that brake, servo, fifth scale. The two servos back here, one for the throttle, and one for the transmission, because these things come with reverse, which is cool. And this is a 49cc, like I said, six and a half horsepower, roughly seven, loud. And it's going to get a 25 horse electric system. 25 plus horse so at this point in the video I think I will cut away to the ripping of it yeah we pulled off some cool Mad Maxes with it until I realized it's worth a lot of money in Canada we'll go through that in the next segment come on come on buddy Come on. Come on, guy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Thor.
got a truck, we need a mechanic. Brakes are really sensitive, and it's not mine. <laughs> Pointing the camera in the right place. Yeah. 
I can see I'm going to have to up my game on my dismantling tools. Me and my long pauses, eh? Kind of neat if you look in here all the crossbars are labeled in their lengths 198 224 198 so the kit we got is johnny crash racing is where we got the kit so here in canada to get yourself a grave digger primal rc you're gonna end up spending almost seven thousand bucks to get that thing here which is wild, eh? And then the conversion kit, or not the conversion kit, that's the JCR PRCR-101. This is a conversion kit. This is going to run you somewhere around 800 bucks. And then the combo, Max 4, with the, uh, with the motor. What is this actually? This is the 570 or 560? I can't remember. 560 KV is going to run you 1200 bucks. So let's see what Johnny Crash sends you here. For this kit. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they label their. Uh, cross ties. I've had to up my game and my parts bins. They need to be bigger. <laughs> Wild. I just need the bench just, oh yeah, look at that. Just for parts. Rear motor brace. Generic hanger assembly. I think that there is for the ESC. Oh, there's the that's the thing I want to see is a motor plate conversion. This is supposed to be pretty cool from the videos I've seen anyways. Make sure there's nothing in these things that I inadvertently throw away because it's a long drive to get any parts if we're missing them or have to manufacture or get manufactured. Wow, look at that. That's a nice quality. I mean, this is the the key piece right here. This is the, the motor adapter for this specific combo. What is that? Phone glitching out like that. Oh, really? Packaged up very well. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Well, this is going to be fun. I'll tell you that. And then this will be our battery trays here. And this is supposed to have some carbon fiber in it. This is what this looks like. I might want to vent the bottom of the ESC plate. Oh, look at that. Is that ever nice? Wow. That's sweet. I don't think anybody else in Canada is doing this project. If they are, hit me up. Let me know what you think. These are actually labeled too, I believe. Ah, camera just on my phone. These are supposed to be Kevlar reinforced, I believe. 
cool. Those are awesome. Hardware kit for that. Let's have a look at this. BSC hanger. My ducks in a row over here. I'm gonna throw anything in the garbage. Yes, see? I guess I'll talk to Dennis about this, but I think it's kind of, uh, yeah, kind of a little bit redundant. To have cooling fins underneath and not let any air get to them. So I'll either put standoffs on if he wants that, or I'm going to drill this carbon fiber, which I don't think I've ever done before, but it can't be that hard, can it? We'll find out, I guess. Oh, look at the hash, the tool marks in there, eh? Can't feel them though. Matter were cool. Very cool. Alrighty. Well, there you go. That's the kit. this video to be that long I know people got things to do and sitting in front of a phone or TV watching me mess around is no we don't want to take too much of your time <laughs> so I'll uh, end this one as a part one I guess of the gravedigger build and then I'm gonna go with uh, dismantling and maybe I'll see how it goes I'll make a dismantle and then maybe uh, uh, put the electric system in part and then uh, some more Mad Maxes with some real power. Adios. Take care.